Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like during this energy there, there's an urging to pay attention to people's inner wounds and, and now this energy is telling us to tell a new story about ourselves and our lives um, and our love lives especially. So um, this is a really powerful time for a lot of us. There's going to be a lot happening. Um, this reading can be for any sign. So Aries, Sag, Leo, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. If you are one of these signs watching and you felt inclined to click on this reading, then there may be a message here that is for you um, at this current time. So um, it's not confined to any sign in particular. It's just if you've clicked on this, you know, maybe you were guided to this for a reason. You were guided to this energy for a reason. Um, so we'll see what comes up in the cards. Okay, so what are the messages? Okay, so, so far we've got Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, and The Fool. Let's lay out a few more cards to see what else comes up. Okay, straight away with that Nine of Cups, I get Pisces energy, and um, it could be for a Pisces, um, or there's the message here, because the message for Pisces during this time is about using your gifts to help the world or to help other people, straight away I'm getting the sense that... Um, a lot of us are a lot of people watching straight away here. Uh, you're going to be using your talents or your gifts to help other people. Okay, so there's a wonderful nurturing uh, ability that's coming through here. And also with the Fool, because that is Aries energy, um, this is about letting go of control and accepting the unknown. Okay, so straight away I'm getting the sense that a lot of you are going into something here. You're not really aware of what's happening or how it's going to happen. Um, but the message I'm getting here is that it's about using your gifts or your talents somehow um, during this period. Okay, that's coming up very strongly. Okay, so uh, natural talents, hobbies, gifts, um, empathy, whatever it is, there is a message here that that's something you need to utilize during this time. We also have Virgo energy. This is about needing to be at peace with yourself and by yourself. So straight away, I get the sense that this is very internal for a lot of us. And it's a self journey we're about to embark on. So it's really powerful with the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of things that are becoming very heavy for us, okay? And it's time we confront them and we deal with them. The World Card says that our eyes are going to be open to a certain situation. And we're finally going to see our true colors and the way we deal with our connections and also the way our people, our, our wonderful lovers or mates or exes or whoever it is that you have around you, what their true colors are. So there's a message here that all these things are culminating to the surface and you will be equipped with the knowledge. Um, you will be equipped with knowledge to help you move forward in a connection or in a relationship. So this is very powerful, very powerful energy. The full, I feel like this is you entering into this unknown. So I get a sense that there's going to be a lot of risks, okay? There's a lot of you, you've got a lot on the line here with a relationship and you've possibly walked away from this connection or you've you've been by yourself, you've been at peace with yourself. But a part of you is hopeful that the new beginning, look what um, is sitting right after that new beginning card, it's the Ten of Cups, which is the Happily Ever After card. So I feel like what I get the sense is that a lot of us are going to be devoting ourselves, our time, our energy, our resources to a connection um, because it's a time when we need to help other people. Okay, It's a time when we need to um, help connections flourish. We need to do everything in our power, in our talent, in our repertoire to ensure that we give the most out of things or give the most to a connection before we walk away entirely. Now, for a lot of you, it's going to be in a connection with someone you've had in the past, possibly a Pisces. We've got Virgo, we've got Aries um, as well. Okay. Um, 
but let's center back to this Sagittarian energy that's taking over. And this means that there's going to be a lot more fun. There's going to be a lot more happiness that's about to be injected into this connection. So in letting go, I think of some of that pressure. Some of us have to let, let go of the pressure of a relationship and just enjoy the goodness of it. And I think coming into that sort of energy, we're going to see some really big results. Okay, you're going to see some big results um, and it's going to bring a lot of things to light in terms of community. Communication. I feel communication is going to be going quite well. We've got the two birds here. They fly in an upward motion, which would indicate positive. Indica um, uh, it's a positive indication of good communication. But I also get the sense that this is a, a, a is going to be a great time for breaking the ice. Okay getting back with this person, talking again. But you're really going to come into a good, vibrant energy. And um, seeing this, I feel like there's. There's, there's a few things, um, a few quotes for each sign that I sort of want to go over um, that will help you astrologically. Now, in terms of Aries, let's start off with Aries. I can let go of control and accept the unknown. This is a big thing for Aries, okay? It's about letting go of constrictions, letting go of anything that's held you back. This is losing your inhibition or changing up your standards, okay, in a massive way for Aries during this time. Taurus, it's about opening up your mind to all possibilities, okay? This is the opening up that we're seeing with the world card. You're going to be in connections with a lot of different um, opportunities, different people. You're going to be giving chances to people you wouldn't normally, okay? You're going to be opening up your thought. You're going to be putting up um, a, with a lot more, okay? Your tolerance is going to go higher. Gemini, you're worthy of giving and receiving love. Gemini, do not lose self-respect. Um, honor yourself, your mind, your body, your soul, and know that the person that is meant to be there for you will be there, and they're going to make you feel like you're on cloud nine. A lot of positive energy around Gemini's um, coming into this love energy. You're in a very vibrant energy, and the confidence you're going to have within yourself is going to be reflected to other people, and you're going to be attracting a lot of attention, I feel, in relationships and love-wise. Cancer, I can find peace by living in the moment. Okay, so Cancer, um, this is about finding peace within yourself or finding peace or a peaceful resolution in a relationship. It can be about forgiveness. It can be about learning to forgive, knowing when to say sorry, knowing when to apologize, or knowing how to bring more peace into a relationship. So this is the ending of old patterns, okay? The ending of patterns that put your relationship at risk, that put your happiness or your love at risk as well. Leo, this is the belief and the confidence of all your talents, of all your energy and all your um, amazing attributes here. So Leo, you've got like a surge of confidence coming in. So you're going to be breaking the ice. You're going to be taking initiative. You're going to be putting yourself out there. You've got nothing to lose here. And that sort of energy that you're going to be stepping into is really going to bring about those rainbow moments. So look out for those because they're destined to come up around you during this time. Now, Virgo, we have, I am at peace with myself and by myself. So Virgo, this is a wonderful internal transformation that's happening for you. Um, Virgo, the way you're going to be seeing yourself, your person, you are really going to be bringing peace into your life and peace into your relationships. So this is absolutely amazing. Um, you're going to better the relationship you have with yourself. And as a byproduct of that, the relationships that you have with other people, your marriages, your, your, your spouses, your boyfriends, girlfriends, this is going to improve. And you're going to see a lot of that heaviness being eliminated here. And you're going to get a lot of your wishes fulfilled with that Nine of Cups energy. Now, moving on to Libra, I can thrive outside my comfort zone. You're going to be taking a lot of risks, Libra. You're going to be pushing forward with things that you normally wouldn't push back. You're going to be tough enough, brave enough, courageous enough, strong enough to leave behind toxic people, walk away from addictions, anything that didn't serve your connection or your relationship. You're going to come into this profound energy of, of moving forward here. You're going to get out of your comfort zone. So be prepared for a lot of new people, new conversations, new experiences that are going to sort of whisk you away almost to another, another world here. Scorpio, we have, I am the creator of my own destiny. Scorpio, you're meddling with destiny here. So this is a very important time for you. The world says a lot of opportunities coming up around you. A lot of your wishes will be fulfilled, Scorpio. Um, 
you'll be feeling a lot of it. So pay attention to your premonition and your psychicness because I feel like you're going to be creating things that are going to impact you, not only in this around this period, but also in the future. So this is very solid. You're making your future every day. Um, every moment that passes is really going to be you writing your destiny here. Pay attention to the connections that are coming up, the people that are coming back, the people that are in and around your energy, because it's very likely that they are your destiny. Okay, Scorpio, um, you have strength internally and externally. Uh, sorry, uh, Sagittarius, internal and external strength. This is very powerful. You're coming into your power here. And it's not just inside, it's on the outside as well. And you're potentially intimidating some people around you. So be careful of that. Look around you. If you're feeling people are getting more timid, they're not voicing themselves. It's because you're exuding a lot of strength. Make sure you maintain sensitivity because people, you know, you're very influential right now. People are going to be listening to you. People in relationships are going to want to do what you want to do, um, where you want to go on a date, what you think is best in a relationship. People are going to be conforming to you. So know that power that you have is, is, is very big and it's going to be very influential over your mate as well. Okay, Capricorn, healing, repairing, mending, self-care, but also some exes coming back into the picture. There's reconciliation in the cards around this time. So um, you may hear from exes. You may hear from people in the past. You may connect with them physically, very unexpectedly. You're looking back to the past, shining a light on what you could have had. Opportunities from the past could be resurfacing here for you as well. Aquarius, big, big inspirational, lots of uh, motivational elements, um, that you're going to see okay but you're going to see it around the people and you've had something to do with this so aquarius if you're noticing your person is changing they're improving um, know that you are the cause of that influence so you have a very positive influence on your person here the words that you speak the role that you um, take on the things that you do behaviorally you might see mirrored so mutual feelings, you might see mirrored behavior in your person. Pay attention to these things. They're coming out very strongly and you're going to see them. It's going to be a source of happiness here. Um, and I feel like you're going to be in a very prideful energy as well. Okay, Pisces, this is using the gifts, your gifts to help the world. Okay, so Pisces energy, you need to share your gifts. You need to share your thoughts and your feelings because the rewards and the incentives you're going to get are going to be absolutely fantastic. You're the cup energy in this spread here. So you've come up very powerfully. The Ten of Cups um, sees you in a happily ever after relationship. It sees that you helping someone, giving your time, energy to your lover, to your mate is going to go such a long way into progressing a relationship. But it's going to come from your devotion. I mean, overall, we've got some very powerful energies and some of some of your energies may be mixed up with other signs and that's fantastic. But overall, I feel like what I see in the cards here is that there's a lot of dealing with heaviness, possible reconciliations. We've got the world opening up. So opportunities from the past, risk from the past. And of course, risks. Risks can get you very, very far. The risks you take now can get you very, very far Um ahead as well so um, really interesting reading everyone thank you so much for joining me um, we will be in touch very soon i'll check back in tomorrow with another brand new set so um, stay tuned for that otherwise please um, don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign of course feel free to reach out if you were after a private reading with me otherwise i'm sure i'll catch you very very soon so take care everyone lots of love and bye for now